form that we have a function which is e to the power minus x, okay? And uh, we want to integrate from a, which is equal to zero, to b, which is equal to infinity. And uh, to, we want to calculate the integral that involves this extra function, but we want to use only two terms, okay? We want to have n2. Now, if you want to use two, term, two terms in the summation, uh, this means that uh, it's a little, so every relationship that you are going to write down, they are strongly related to each other. And my first question to you would be the following. If we are going to use two terms, how many unknowns do we have? Satanyora came in there. No, sir, no, you are douche. No, no, sir, no, I prefer. Yo, I don't know what you're speaking, I don't know what you're speaking. Now, come on, give me a good job. Good job. No, you are straight. Noi është tre, e drejtë, pa. Noi është tre, është noja maksimale tre, mund tjetë dhe dy. Because, let's see here, n can be two, let's see what we get here, smaller or equal, two n minus one, but this was two, two times two, four, minus one, three. Two is smaller equal to three. So n can be, so here, the moment that we see this n equal to two, m can be even, this can be even two, three, these are possible values, okay? Which is which is uh, which is good, but now if I, I can repeat, this was an important question. Okay, so we have two two values, but cha polynomial mund përdorim, shumë e drejt mund ketë mund polynomial gadas dyt ose gadas tre, bukur. But now the question is, what is the unknown when we use the Gaussian quadrature? What do we need to know? We need to know. Uh, these and these, okay? So the unknowns for us are the, the a1, a2, x1, and x2. So we need to know the coefficients that will multiply the function at these values of x, okay? So once you are given this integral again, probably this might be the last time I said this one, anytime we want to integrate over a specific range, all we need to figure out is we need to figure out this value of ai and this value of xi. So in this case, n is 2. How many unknowns do we have here? We have four unknowns, okay? Because we need to know the unknowns are a1, a2, okay? And x1, x2. And we know now what they are because we read them from the table. Good. So if we have four unknowns, how many equations do we need? If we have four unknowns, how many equations do we need? Four equations. Exactly. So we, need, we have four unknowns. So we have to find a way to figure out four equations that are linearly independent from other, and using those, we have to find these expressions, right? So we need four equations. If we have four equations, then uh, the trick here is that having four equations, this can help us to, to do the, the following. So we said that if m is equal to 3, if we pick up, or let's do it like this, the, the logic line can be the following. n is equal to 2, and for sure, m can be equal to 2. Good. But if m is equal to 2, then this means that we can consider a polynomial of zeroth order, a polynomial of the first order, and a polynomial of second order. Okay? If we combine these polynomials into the equations to find a1, a2, x1, and x2, they are not enough. Okay? We have only three polynomials. But if we use the second option, n is still equal to 2, but n can be equal to 3, which is true, this is the maximum value of the, the, higher, the highest order of the polynomial, then if we can see, if this means that we are including also the highest power, which is P3, but you can have P0, okay, where P1, P2, and P3 of X, which means that we can have a polynomial in the third order and so on. So if we use P0, P1, P2, and P3, we can make up four equations for these. Is it clear? 
So that's why if you want to find if you want to find these values, and that's what the numerical analysts do to prepare these tables like cheat sheets for all of us or for engineers. That's what they're doing. Okay? So, they, so it looks like probably we might go with this one at least for the moment to derive these. And uh, there should be not too, mu uh, too much question regarding this. So that means that we need for P0, we get the term 1. For P1, we have this term x. For P2, we have this term x squared. And for P3, sorry, this is x, uh, x x squared and x cubed. So these are the highest order uh, polynomials. And I need to fill this one somewhere here, so m, because I forget this, 2m minus 1. Right, this means that I can erase it from here. And now, what we can, from this expression, this is e to the power minus x. So now, this wx, let me uh, substitute with a new value. So this uh, e to the power minus x times this polynomial is going to be equal to, to this expression. And then we can follow like the, the following. We can get the integral from zero to infinity because we have defined them here. Okay, the a and b they can change, they can be different values. But I'm going to say to make also a comment about the values of a and b, which are the endpoints of the integral. These polynomials that we showed all, all over the slides, like that well polynomial, uh, the Chebyshev polynomial, they correspond to a specific choice of the values of the a and b. So this integral from zero to infinity of of this e to the power minus x times p zero. What is p zero? A polynomial zero order, which means times one. Okay, p x. This is equal to a one plus a two. That's one equation. Another equation is the following: we have the, in, the same integral of e to the power minus x times p1, which is now times x, times px, this is equal to, so we are writing this one each time, right? So we are putting here p1, that means that this polynomial is, this is a1 times x to the power of 0 plus a2 times x to the, uh, x1, x2 to the power of 0. We know that any x to the power of 0 is 1. So that's why we can leave this as it was, a2. Now, we come here and we write the same equation. The polynomial is x. What do we get here? We get a1 okay, times x1 plus a2 times x2. Okay? And similarly, we have again the same integral, e to the power minus x times x squared. The integral is over dx. This is equal to what? This polynomial here is x squared, that means that this is also x squared. So we get the following, we get a1 x1 squared plus a2 x2 squared. So I hope things are uh, becoming a little uh, more trivial. So again, we have the same thing multiplied by the polynomial of the first or third order, bx. This is going to be equal to a1 x1 cubed plus a2 x2 cube. Now, uh, this procedure that we are doing right now, you are not going to do this one every day, okay? You are not required often to calculate the, the coefficients, but uh, it's good to see how we derive these. So, from here, it looks like we have, uh, let me see, have a look, we have these equations and we need uh, to find these. Then, what we need to do is the is the following. What is the integral of e, uh, integral of e to the power minus x dx? We can we can calculate the first one, right? So what is e to the power minus x? E to the power minus x is an exponential function which uh, intersects the y-axis here at one, and it uh, comes down like this. 
and this is converge, convergent function. We know that this will converge. So e to the power minus x dx, uh, we can integrate this e to the power minus x dx. I'm sure that uh, all of us know this pretty well. So this is going to be, we can insert a minus sign here. We get the minus sign also here, so minus x. So this is equal to the, the e to the power minus x with a minus. We take this from 0 to infinity, uh, then this would be equal to, I don't like minuses here a lot, because they are very confusing, especially in the exams. I can take out the minus sign, I can change the size of the in integral, and we get e to the power minus x at 0. What is this equal to? It's 1, minus 0, this is equal to 1. Okay. So, a1 plus a2, we got one equation. How did we find it? We evaluated this, right? Then, uh, this is equal to 1. Then, what is this other equation? This is e to the power minus x. x dx, we again, we follow a similar uh, approach. Of course, we will not uh, do all of them, but just for a moment, this is e to the power minus x, x dx. We can use uh, u, b, v. u can be, in this case, x. Dv is equal to e to the power minus x dx, but I guess du will be dx, and uh, v will be the integral of this one, which is going to be minus e to the power minus x. Now, this is the type of integral of u dv is equal to u d minus integral of d du, so, which is easy for uh, for almost all of us for sure. And then here this is going to be uv, it's uh, minus x e to the power minus x minus the integral of v du. v is minus e to the power minus x, du is dx. Good. This integral, we just found it out. We have to apply the limits here and so on. So there are relatively, it looks like it's a simple calculus, first year calculus. Okay, to calculate this. So at this stage, at this point, I think we can enter the, the results. So the first equation is 1. The second equation is also 1. Sorry. This is also 1. This will be equal to 2, and this is equal to 6. So here we have uh, four equations in four unknowns, and uh, we should be able to solve them. Okay. And uh, finally, we find out that from these four equations, we get that A1 it's equal to square root of 2 plus 1 over 2 square root of 2 and a2, this is equal to square root of 2 minus 1 over 2 square root of 2. Then uh, we find that x1 is equal to 2 minus square root of 2 and x2 is equal to 2 plus square root of 2. Good. Now, we just uh, wrapped up uh, an, uh, a technique how to calculate the coefficients for the integration of any uh, polynomial times this specific function. And, uh, and we found the coefficients and the values of x. We were successful to get this, and often you might notice that in the in that table that we showed a couple of minutes ago, where, where we had the coefficients and the values of x, most of, not most, I think all of those numbers except the zero, they are irrational numbers. Okay, they are irrational numbers because the square root of three or square root of two appear everywhere. Okay, so that's why you cannot write them as a uh, ratio of a over b. So I hope this is uh, this was clear. So this is something that uh, we can all do.